Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impressions video for you all. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? It's going to be on my eyebrows. Um, I picked up a new eye product, eyebrow product um, from Chi Chi and it is their brow pomade. Um, I picked mine up from Myers. I think for like $10 and a few cents. It was on special, but full retail price, this is like $14.95. $14.95, if it's good, that's a bargain. So, yeah, if you want to see my first impressions on this, just keep watching. <laughs> so it comes in a tiny little box like this. Um, I got mine in the shade Dark Brown. I don't know if you can see that at all, but I got mine in the shade Dark Brown and there is two grams of product in this container. Let me open it up. I have nails on, so I literally can't do anything. So I'm just going to cut the box open. <laughs> Ow! I just cut my finger. I just cut my fingy. <laughs> oh, now I'm gonna have to put a plaster on it. Oh well. Anyway, so on the box it says Chi Chi or Shi Shi. Did you ever see that meme how it was like, it's not pronounced Chi Chi, it's pronounced Shi Shi? I don't know, I'm gonna say Chi Chi. Um, brow pomade is best applied using an angled brow brush with short, stiff bristles. Close cap firmly in between product usage to prevent contents from drying. Remove with waterproof makeup remover. Waterproof smudge free creamy formula that is an all one, all in one brow product smoothly glides on skin and hair to sculpt, color in and shape natural defined brows. Paraben free, bismuth free. I don't know what that second thing is, but okay. Okay, so it comes in like a little eyeliner pot. Oh, there's a message on the lid. There is a message through here. What does this say? Ooh. There's information. I see information. Okay. Directions. Brow pomade is best applied using a short, stiff, angled brush. Um, as you will have better control to outline the brows, fill in blah, 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 blah. Do not apply the brow pomade by directly putting your brush into the pot and applying the product to your brows, as it may be too heavy an application. It is best to dip your brush into the pot and swipe across the inside of the cap as you can use the lid as a palette, removing excess product or recollecting more. Product as needed for your desired look. Remove with waterproof makeup remover. Okay, I'm gonna do just that. Let me find a short. So I'm just going to use the Zoeva 322 Brow Line Brush with this pomade. Um, I picked mine up in the shade Dark Brown if you're curious. Um, I will somewhere in this video try and put swatches. I'll probably go to Maya either today or tomorrow and just swatch them on my hand. And then you guys will be able to see shades. Um, so yeah, I'll try and include that somewhere in this video. Hopefully maybe now I don't know um, hopefully I can do that so when you open the lid it does come with a little plastic seal which is always good because firstly it retains moisture and it doesn't let any excess air get in there and then secondly if someone's opened up the box at least there's another level of protection um, to kind of protect the product so that's a really really nice gesture so I'm just going to peel that off so this is what the pomade looks like in color. Um, in the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I use either dark brown or medium brown, um, but I felt like dark brown would be the nicest tone for me in this product. So I am just going to grab a tiny bit on my brush and I'm just going to then dust it off into the cap. So I'm just gonna to touch really, really lightly because I'm really, really scared that this is gonna be ultra pigmented. Oh, okay. So it's not super like, hard like if you touch a brush it's not just going to sink in like it's going to pick up a little bit of product but it's not going to be overwhelmingly soft at least that's what i get from first impressions so i'm just going to tap off a tiny bit into the cap mm, i would have been okay with just applying that directly to my eyebrow to be honest but oh well we are just going to start off i would start with the top yeah i need to get more product oh okay Okay, I am starting to get a lot of product onto my brush. I feel like you need a lot of product to 
to actually get anything onto your eyebrow. I do feel like I like the consistency more than the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I felt the Anastasia one is just so dry and so unusable sometimes. But this one seems really, really nice. I do feel like this shade might be ever so slightly too dark, um, but when I was looking at the pots in store, the other ones looked really, really grey or really, really red. So this was kind of the most neutral tone out of them all. Um, yeah, so that kind of sucks. Maybe I'll try and buy a different shade if I really enjoy this one. I don't mind how my eyebrow looks, like compared to this one, obviously this one is more shit of an eyebrow in general, but it does make a lot of a difference. So now I'm going to do the other eye brow. <laughs> and I'm not really dipping it into the pot and then dipping it into the lid. I don't find it necessary. Um, I did try it, but I don't really seem like I don't really see a difference if I do that or if I just go in directly. As long as you don't like push your brush into there and you get like the whole thing of product, you're fine. Like just a tiny little dab and then dab it into your eyebrow. It's fine. At least for me. So far, I'm really, really liking the product. Um, I don't feel like you can get a very natural brow with this product, only due to its um, creamy nature, unless you got like a lighter color. But it is really, really nice as a brow pomade, at least for me. Oh man, that was completely my own error. Yeah, I'm really, really liking it. Like it looks really, really nice in the brows and it just went all orange all of a sudden. Excuse that, I don't know why that happened. Um, yeah. Overall, I'm really, really impressed with it. Do I think that it does everything that you need for your brows that you can walk out the door? Possibly. If you have quite tame eyebrows, I think this is fine. I do have quite unruly eyebrows and some of the hairs tend to point down. You can see right there, that is an eyebrow hair that just will not kind of go into place. So I will need a brow gel him down soon. Um, same with this side, it's a little bit how you're going in terms of the hairs moving around. But if you want something that's going to provide product to your face, like pigment to your face to shape your eyebrow, I do think this is a good one. And considering like full price, it's only $15 anyway, I think that's a two thumbs up for me. Like that's really, really good. Very, very affordable for what you get. Um, I personally like it more than Anastasia. Anastasia is just so freaking dry. Like I can't help that one. It's just so dry. This is nice and creamy. It's more creamy than what Anastasia ever was. Um, it's still got a little bit to prove before I'll say that it's better than my Tarte one, but I do personally think that it's better than the Anastasia one. I do just wish that there was better colors in the line for my eyebrows, or maybe I just picked a bad color. Um, somewhere through this video, I will put swatches, so hopefully that's of some help. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to say, really. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.